there, welcome back. So you may remember this story. Back in April of 2017, Dr. David Dow was heading home to Kentucky where he was planning to open a free clinic for U.S. veterans, except he didn't quite make it. The flight was overbooked and when he refused to give up his seat, things got hot. A young couple was first asked to leave and begrudgingly they got up and they left. Then Dow was asked to leave. No, nope, I'm not getting off this flight. I'm a doctor. I have patients to see in the morning. Well, the whole situation escalated very fast and Dow refused to leave because he felt he was being targeted for being Chinese. A police officer boarded and then a second and then a third. Ultimately, Dow was dragged off the plane suffering a concussion, a broken nose and two missing teeth in the melee. This is one of the scenarios presented to students in their first year at Harvard Business School. The discussions go something like this. Well, United has clear regulations that make the crew responsible for the safety of all the passengers. Mr. Dow was clearly a danger and his extraction was completely warranted. Are you kidding? This is clearly racial and unnecessarily brutal on the part of the airline. The crew members were the ones who made Dr. Dow unsafe. Understanding the purpose of these controversial discussions begins with understanding the students. The student groups are intentionally curated by Harvard to be as diverse as possible, and they're given assigned seats so that a private equity guy from New York sits next to a female VP of sales from Silicon Valley who sits next to a young entrepreneur from Mumbai. The intention is to create tension as students approach these case studies that examine real world business situations from very different backgrounds, experiences, and worldviews. Now the real value comes from the unique contributions to the discussions that result in consensus. When discussions become heated, the students are then encouraged to strengthen those social skills and consider where each person is coming from and how their experiences have led them to contribute a different perspective as added value rather than conflict. Diversity of thought generates more ideas. The more ideas the team has, the more avenues they have open to stretch and explore and discover. But how many times does diversity of thought become the roadblock instead of the springboard to innovative thinking? The key is learning how to tap into and invite diverse perspectives without undermining the psychological safety of the team. To learn more about how to develop this kind of emotional awareness on your team, check out my recent blog post. And if you'd like to receive a brain boost like this one delivered to your inbox every Friday, subscribe to my weekly neuro nugget.